Here I have a bunch of sphere, as a cylinder and a cloner. I want these spheres to drop and collide with the cylinder and fall on the ball and then go back to their original position. To do that, I'll first uh, add a I'll right click and add a collider tag on the uh, ball and the cylinder. And then I'll add a rigid body tag on the cloner because the uh, the spheres will are going to be moving and the cylinder and the ball are going to be static so to play the animation this is what will happen but i want the balls to go back to their original position and to do that i'll select the uh, rigid body tag and in the dynamic option i'll set a keyframe at 60 when they are dynamic when the dynamic is on and then change it at frame 80 to be static so the dynamic is off even the tag is changing uh, the icon its icon and then add another uh, keyframe then go back play the animation this is what will happen but you'll notice that the spheres when they go back to their static position that they are going through the cylinder I don't want that I want them to collide with the cylinder on their way back to their initial position. So to do that, I'll go back to the beginning. I will uh, have to check dynamic transition. So if I do that, you'll notice that the spheres now are going to uh, collide on their way back with the cylinder. And here you can also change the speed of the transition. You can make it 30 to make it faster. So if you go back to the beginning and then play the animation again, you'll see that the transition is going to be very fast. And this is how you use dynamic transition.